A scathing federal indictment alleges a group of corrupt corrections officers and gang members inside the Baltimore City Detention Center smuggled in drugs and cell phones. That indictment names 25 people. I team lead investigative reporter Jane Miller is live at the federal courthouse downtown. And Jane, the details of this story sound like something out of a movie. No doubt about it, Donna. Call it sex. Drugs and wiretaps all involved in this case, which shows a system with few controls. Female officers having sex with prison inmates, prison officials willing to look the other way. Taxpayers pay the state to run the city's jails, but the federal indictment issued today reveals the extent to which the bad guys were in control. Inmate Tavon White, a leader of the Black Gorilla family gang, was heard on a wiretap in January staking his claim. This is my jail, he said. I'm dead serious. I make every final call in this jail. Everything come to me. I am the law. My word is the law. White claims to make a nice profit, according to the indictment, selling smuggled drugs and phones. My profit was 15800 and something, or 16800 16400 something. That ain't bad for a whole month. This case is insidious. This case is extremely serious. Thirteen female corrections officers are accused of smuggling banned items into the jails in return for money and sex. Corrections officer Kimberly Dennis on a wiretap. There are some things I need to get done. My goal for this week is $2,000. I don't know where it's going to come from, but I'm going to make it happen. We need to be able to rely on people who are in law enforcement and associated with law enforcement to make sure that they're on our side and not the criminal side. And that's the most significant thing I think this case exposed. Sex was so prevalent inside the jails that BGF leader Tavon White fathered children with four different female officers. Two had his name tattooed on their bodies. Corrections officer Jennifer Owens was heard to say, I understand you're stressed out because you're locked up, but I am too. You locked up and I'm pregnant again. Who does that? Officers could be fired for associating with inmates, but the women in this case are still employed. Were these women fired? Pardon? Were these women fired, the ones who are... No. They're in your institution having sex with the inmates. Right. Were they fired? No. Public Safety Secretary Gary Maynard says he takes full responsibility for what this case has uncovered. He struggled today to spell out any significant changes that have taken place. He called the case an embarrassment. Reporting live tonight from the federal court, I'm Jane Miller, WBAL TV 11 News.